Well, hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with a quick pick a card for you today. We are going to be looking into what spirit wants you to know right now. So I have three piles of cards for you guys to choose from. Pile one, two, and three. For pile number one, we have rose quartz. Pile number two is the selenite heart. And for pile number three, we've got hematite. So I'll give you guys a moment to make your choices. What does spirit want you to know right now? Um, like I mentioned, I'm planning on this to be a fairly quick read. Um, as usual, all of my links will be in the description below. I will have timestamps in the description as well, so you can skip ahead to your reading if you've already chosen. If you have not chosen your pile yet, you may want to pause the video and take a minute to meditate on it because we are about to get started with group number one. Okay, so if you chose group number one with the rose quartz, Let's find out what spirit wants you to know right now. So just looking at these cards, um, immediately I am definitely seeing that many of you who chose this group are in a very, um, I want to say, ambitious sort of mindset right now. Um, we have a lot of cards here that suggest, you know, determination and drive and, and that suggests that many of you are currently um, working to manifest a, a particular goal. Um, we've got new moon in Aries here. It's time to take action. We have set Prince of Avarice. One of the um, keywords for this card is ambition. We also have prosperity, which is pretty self-explanatory, as well as the nine of cups, which relates to wish fulfillment and pursuing the things that fulfill and satisfy us. Um, so, like I said, I'm, I'm definitely seeing a lot of ambitious energy here. I'm seeing um, a lot to suggest that many of you are in, you know, this, this state where you're actively trying to manifest something or you may be, um, like, laying down some sort of plan or figuring out a pathway to manifesting a particular goal that you have. Um, we also have here justice, which relates to balance, reciprocation, fairness, equal give and take. We've got the Hierophant, which is grounded, solid earth energy. This is stability. This card relates to convention and tradition. The Hierophant is also seen as like a teacher, a mentor, a provider. Um, the King of Cups is here as well. This is a little bit similar to the Hierophant in the sense that this is also a very loving, nurturing, uh, masculine sort of energy. The King of Cups also talks to me a lot about self-care as well as, um, you know, compassion and empathy and love towards other people, um, unconditional love towards other people. Then we've got a couple of uh, Rebel Oracle cards here. We have Take a Shot, and on the back it says, Don't take 12, take one, maybe two, and move on. Um, and then we have Drop the Fucking Ego. Vulnerability is hot. So, um, like I said, a lot of energy here. A lot of... Um, very active energy, very driven energy coming through here. Um, and I am definitely seeing with these cards a pretty clear, like, warning message to you guys um, that even though ambition and drive and determination are all very good things to have, um, you want to be careful about becoming overly ambitious or becoming driven to the point that you become sort of blinded to everything else. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, it's good to have goals, but it's not so good to become so fixated on those goals that you start to neglect your own, you know, neglect your other needs or to neglect your relationships with other people um, or, or other aspects of your life. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, this card in particular is definitely uh, conveying that message to me, um, because set is 
you know, it's, well, the other, the other keywords for this card are short-sightedness and narcissism. So, you know, this card can definitely uh, indicate like a fixation on something or becoming really, really set in your ways um, or becoming like, <laughs> I, I want to say becoming um, too much like ego driven, like, like pursuing specific goals, pursuing certain things, pursuing success, um, because of one's ego and not so much thinking about, you know, what's going to come next or what's going to happen after you reach that thing that you want. Um, does that make sense? You know, this card obviously is kind of tying in with that drop the ego. I think that, um, you know, whenever it is that you're trying to pursue, whether it's career related or um, pertaining to, you know, a hobby, a passion that you have um, or, or your education, whatever it is, I think it's very important that you guys are able to um, kind of evaluate yourselves a little bit and make sure that you are pursuing this thing for a good reason, um, not to... It, not not with the intention of necessarily like increasing your status you know socially or or just to look good um or to to prove other people wrong necessarily but um ensuring that you are pursuing these things with pure intentions do you know what i'm saying and, you know, this is a general reading, so I am not at all saying that <laughs> you specifically are, you know, trying to achieve certain successes for shallow reasons. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to suggest that about you. Um, but these cards are just kind of saying, like, be cautious of that, you know, and, and don't allow yourself to become so wrapped up in whatever it is that you're trying to do, that you lose sight of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm also getting a message with these cards that it's very important for you guys to actively try to maintain a balance in your lives. That's what this justice card is talking about. Um, you know, balancing work and play, balancing fun and seriousness. Again, being ambitious and having goals is not a bad thing. However, they're just really, really emphasizing this message that, you know, you, you cannot allow this to consume you or to totally overtake your life. You know, um, they're saying, you know, you have to make sure that you are also taking care of yourself and taking care of your me other mental and emotional needs and that you are, you know, actively maintaining your relationships with other people and, and that you're just doing what you need to do to make sure that you are well-rounded, you know, balanced individual. Um, when you have something in particular that you really want to achieve, um, especially, you know, the bigger it is, the easier it is to become sort of consumed by, you know, that desire and, and the easier it is to become very focused on just that one thing. Um, these cards are saying that, you know, you have the power, you have the resources to manifest whatever it is that you're trying to manifest for yourself. But just be aware that this is something that's going to take time to achieve, okay? This is going to be a pretty long-term investment for many of you. So just be aware of that and, you know, don't try to rush things. And <sighs> Spirit is also saying um, that you need to remain open and adaptable and receptive to, you know, all the possibilities. Um, something that we see sometimes, like when, when someone's trying to manifest something specific, um, sometimes people get so wrapped up in, you know, their expectations of how things are going to go. Like, like this is, this is what the end goal is going to be. This is how I'm going to get there. This is how it's all going to go down. Um, however, a lot of the times things do not pan out exactly the way that you want or expect them to. So it's really important. They're saying, um, <clears throat> that you keep your expectations in check and that you are not too uh, rigid in what your expectations are. Because many of you 
you know, you're, you're going to find success with this. You're ultimately going to reach your end goal. However, the pathway getting there may not be what you're anticipating it to be. You know, you may have to open yourself to other possibilities, other avenues of achieving the success. Okay. So, you know, when it comes to manifesting this goal that you have, um, surrender, I think is a really important thing. And surrender does not mean just standing back and waiting for something to happen. You know, obviously you have to be actually doing things to, to work towards this, you know, whatever it is that you want. Um, but surrender is, like I was just talking about, it is being adaptable. It is being receptive to, you know, other opportunities, other possibilities that may not necessarily be um, like a part of the plan that you have now. Do you understand? Um, I think before I wrap this up, I want to grab maybe a couple of cards from this deck. This is the Crow Tarot. And just see if there's anything that they want to add to this, okay? <clears throat> so anything else that Group 1 should know right now? So we have the Three of Cups coming up here and the Star. So the Star does relate a lot to manifestation and opportunity. It also speaks of healing and restoration. And it's just a very optimistic energy. It just really speaks to me of like hope for the future. Um, and then the Three of Cups, this is unity, togetherness. Um, you know, it, it, it relates to our connections with other people. What I'm getting with this card, and this is actually kind of tying back to the Hierophant, um, I think that moving forward, it's important that you are not afraid to ask for help from other people. Because, you know, as capable as we might be, as competent, as skilled, as educated, whatever, um, there's just, there's, there's always going to be some things that we just can't do on our own. And, you know, your pursuit, whatever it is, may be one of those things. It probably is one of those things, especially if it's something pretty big, pretty significant. Um, so don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to, you know, ask loved ones for support when you feel like you need it. And don't be afraid to ask like professionals for some assistance or some guidance. You know, if, for example, if, if this is related to your education or if this is related to your, your career, whatever. Um, and then the star, this is just kind of giving you a little bit of encouragement, I think. Um, again, you have it in you to do what you need to do. You have it in you to achieve what you want. Um, I mean, you can do anything, really, as, as long as you follow this, this advice that these cards are giving you. You know, you've got to maintain a balance. You've got to keep yourself, you know, well-rounded in your life. You've, you've got to be patient. Um, again, this goal is going to be a long-term investment. It might take longer than you would like for it to. Um, but you can't let that discourage you. You can't let that put you off. Okay. Um, so keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Um, Group one, I think that's going to do it for you guys. Those are really all the messages that I'm getting for you right now. Um, I really hope that this is helpful. I hope that this resonates with you. Um, keep in mind, this is just a general reading. So, you know, take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. Um, I really appreciate you guys joining me today. Uh, my links are in the description if you want to check those out before you go. I do offer personal readings if that's something that you may be interested in. Um, but yeah, thank you again for joining me. I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye. Okay, group number two, if you chose the Selenite Heart, what does Spirit want you to know right now? So, um, looking at these cards, the very first thing that, that, that comes to me is that many of you who chose this group, uh, let me move this, hold on. Many of you who chose this group may be in a position right now where you are experiencing a lot of changes in your life. Um, because we have the wheel showing up here, this does speak of change, it talks about transformations, um, endings and new beginnings. 
We also have death, which is about endings as well. Um, the, 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 the ending of a cycle, something coming to a close, um, a significant transition. Uh, we also have, let's see, we have you're very close to achieving your goal. Give us moon. Um, this is kind of interesting because, you know, this is, well, this, this particular moon phase is not specifically related to endings or new beginnings. However, it is close to like the full moon, which the full moon does relate to endings. It does relate to, um, some, some sort of closure or completion. Um, so what I'm seeing here is that you guys in some way or another are at a, in, in a in a period of your lives where something is coming to an end or something is very is very much on the verge of coming to an end you're you're in some sort of transition right now and it seems to be pretty significant it seems like this is something that that may be kind of intense for you guys um because <laughs> one of your rebel oracle cards um, you look like a shit show and it says you're a hot mess clean yourself up um, So I can imagine that a lot of you guys may be really struggling right now with some of the changes that you're going through or some of the Transformations that are occurring in your life um, We also have believe what you see and on the other side it says face reality or live in la la land choose bravely um, I kind of get the impression with this card being here that for some, not all of you, but for some of you, you may be feeling kind of inclined to ignore some of the changes that are happening, or you may be feeling like, you know, you, you, you just don't want to face what's going on. Um, and if that's the case, if you're feeling that way at all, it's really important that you not give in to that desire or that feeling. It's very important that you know, whatever's happening, no matter how difficult it is, no matter how stressful or, 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 or scary this transformation is, you have to face it. You have to acknowledge that it's happening and, and allow yourself to move forward with it. Um, <clears throat> we also have Anubis, Arbiter of Truth. Um, the key words for this card are preservation, neutrality, and obligation. So Anubis um, kind of relates to in this particular deck, Anubis kind of relates to like undergoing tr some sort of trial. Um, you know, in, in the mythology, Anubis is the one who um, weighs, weighs the hearts of the dead against a feather to determine whether they can proceed into the afterlife or not. Um, and even in my own personal experience, Anubis is one of my spirit guides. Um, he, he kind of likes to give his people certain trials to kind of test their fortitude, test their strength, test their um, determination, that sort of thing. And it feels like that 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 might be kind of what you guys are going through like w w whatever it is you're dealing with might feel like a test or a trial that you you've got to pull through and i i think that to some extent it is um like you know obviously this is a general reading so take it how it resonates with you the transitions that you guys are experiencing may all be very different on a case-by-case -case basis um but the main thing that i think all of you have in common is that whatever you're going through in your life right now in your lives right now it is perhaps causing you to really um have to reevaluate things like like where you're at where you're going what you want who you are um there may be certain relationships that are being kind of purged from your life right now there might be certain situations that are being purged from your life right now maybe you lost your job maybe you've lost a significant amount of money um maybe someone close to you has passed away or uh you've you've had some falling outs with with people close to you whatever it is um, or it could be, you know, some of a little bit of everything, <laughs> you know, um, spirit might be really spicing up your life at this point. And I feel like probably, yeah. Um, <laughs> but whatever's going on, 
it's like you are being prepared to enter into the next stage, the next phase of your life. Um, the chariot here is kind of talking about that. This is about movement, travel, um, transition as well. This card also kind of relates to choice. Um, it's a very ambitious, very driven kind of energy. Also, um, we've also got boundaries here, which is fairly self-explanatory. Um, boundaries kind of talks about, you know, your personal boundaries, what you personally choose that you are or are not okay with, what you can and cannot accept. Um, and then we also have here the King of Cups, which to me relates a lot to self-love and compassion, empathy, unconditional love towards other people and towards ourselves. Um, the King of Cups is pretty clearly saying that, you know, right now, um, you need to be focused on taking care of yourself because whatever you're dealing with if it's if it's difficult, if it's draining you, you know, you, you, you've got to address that. You've got to acknowledge that and you've got to be taking care of yourself. Um, so now is certainly a good time to be really focused and investing in self-care, um, meditation, keeping yourself grounded. Um, some of these changes that are occurring, I think it's also a good time at this point in your life to maybe reevaluate what your boundaries are or set new boundaries in in some cases um and then going back to the anubis card here <clears throat> um I'm, I'm seeing a real emphasis on the neutrality aspect of this card um whatever is happening to you whatever this whatever these changes are I think that, hmm, how do I want to say this? Okay. Again, you're being tested. Your, 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 <laughs> your life is sort of being purged of all the things that you no longer need in order to create space for new, better energy to come in. Um, and, and we've already talked about how, you know, a lot of these changes you're facing are probably very difficult, stressful, you know, sad. I, I feel like a lot of you are going through a lot of different emotions right now, and they're very intense. But moving forward, um, Anubis is here kind of giving you a little bit of advice, like, for right now, just hold on. It's, it's, it's like, just hold on tight and make it through. And once you get to the other side, then you can allow yourself to feel all the emotions that, that, that you've got going on inside you. It's, it's not saying that you need to like suppress your emotions at this point, but it's kind of like, okay, 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 sorry. I'm, <laughs> Okay, this might be a little bit of a better explanation of, of what I'm getting at. Um, this isn't saying that you need to, like, suppress your emotions or that you shouldn't allow yourself to feel the things that you're feeling right now um, that, that are going along with what's happening around you. Um, what this card is saying is that neutrality is important in terms of, like, you not trying to control the situation or you not trying to influence what's going on. Um, so it's, it's kind of like a message of surrender, you know, um, like what's happening is happening and there's not very much that you can do about it, unfortunately. Um, and, and all of the things that are going on right now, it's all happening for a reason. Okay. So just hold on. You know, it's okay right now for things to be a shit show. It's kind of expected. Um, but just do your best to, to, to keep it together. Do your best to hold on tight to this roller coaster ride and allow yourself to just kind of give up control, to, to just kind of say, you know what, I don't really know what's going on here, so I'm just going to let the universe take over, and whatever happens, happens. Um, because eventually you are going to get to a point where you will be able to exert your control again, where you, where you will have some control over what's going on in your life, but now is not that time. Um, okay, so 
hold on tight, guys. I, I really am feeling for you guys who chose this group because I know, I, I kind of know where you're at. I kind of know what this is like to, to be going through this sort of, this sort of like purge in your life. Um, <clears throat> I know for a lot of you, it probably feels like nothing is going right. Nothing is going according to plan. Everything has just totally gone off the rails. Um, but you've got to trust that in the end, it's all going to make sense. In the end, it's all going to fall into place and it's all going to work out. Okay? Just trust in that. You may not be able to see right now how things are possibly going to work out the way they are or how things are possibly going to fall into place, but they will. Okay, so just remember that and take care of yourself. And, you know, don't don't drive yourself crazy trying to trying to make things go any particular way. Just let it go, surrender, hold on. Okay, group two. Um, I think that's going to do it for you guys. I wanted to keep these readings kind of short today. So that's what I'm seeing as far as what spirit wants you to know right now. Um, I really hope this is helpful. I hope that this resonates with you. And um, my links are in the description. As usual, if you're interested in a private reading, I do have those available. So check out the link to my Etsy store if that's something that you may be interested in. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it, and I hope I see you next time. Bye. And finally, group number three, if you chose the hematite, what does spirit want you to know right now? So... Um, looking at these cards, the first thing that's coming to me is I'm, I'm getting a sense of like uncertainty, confusion, maybe feeling kind of lost. Um, I say that because first of all, we've got the seven of cups here. This card relates a lot to confusion um, and uncertainty. It shows up a lot in situations where somebody maybe has a lot of different options available to them. They're feeling kind of indecisive about like what they should do, how they should move forward in a situation, you know, what path they should take. Um, we also have here the Five of Swords, which can represent conflict, disappointment, defeat. Um, there is kind of a sense of sadness and, and emptiness that I get with this card. It can sometimes represent also like things just really not going according to plan um, or, or maybe like getting something that you wanted but it doesn't feel as good as you thought it was going to or it doesn't meet your expectations for some reason. Um, and then we also have here the Prince. Um, the Forgotten Adversary, and the keywords for this card are Sorrow, Lost Valor, and Serendipity. Um, again, there's definitely a sense of loss, emptiness, um, defeat that comes through with this card. So, um, I, I'm, I'm feeling like many of you who chose this pile might be in a position right now in your lives where you are feeling kind of lost or kind of unsure about like how to move forward with with your lives or with a particular situation you might be feeling kind of lost in the dark you know um like what do i do now where do i go from here um for some of you this could be a matter of like you know maybe you're young maybe you're still trying to figure out where you need to go in your life or what you should be doing with your life or maybe um maybe that's not quite the case you know maybe you had particular goals for yourself and you reached those goals um you you manifested something that you really thought you wanted um but now you're feeling like hmm maybe Maybe that wasn't quite what was meant for me or or maybe you're feeling like there there should be something more, like something's missing. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is a little bit relatable because, um, you know, speaking from my personal experience, like I went through four years of college, got a degree, um, and then I started grad school. And once I started grad school, I was like this doesn't feel right. You know, I don't, I don't know that this was meant for me. I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something else. Um, and so, so I kind of, I kind of know like 
from experience what this feels like. And, and it feels like this is kind of what you guys might be going through. Um, you are perhaps looking for some answers about what you should be doing, where you should be going next. Um, and just feeling kind of like, you know, I, I, I need somebody to tell me what to do. Um, so hopefully that resonates with you guys. If that doesn't feel like the sort of situation that you're finding yourself in right now, this may not be your pile. Um, so what do you need to know about all of this? Um, we've got the strength card here. Actually, we have strength twice. We've got strength, um, from the modern witch tarot, and then we have this oracle card, which is also strength. Strength is determination. It is facing adversity with courage and bravery. It is self-love. It is unconditional love. It is, um, Let's see, how do I want to say this? In this instance, um, many of you may not be feeling very strong. You may not be feeling very capable or powerful right now. But Spirit is really asking you guys to take some time to tune into your inner strength. Um, and and actually, this card is sort of tying in with that as well. This is from the Rebel Oracle deck. It says you need some fucking yoga in your life. And then on the other side, it says ancient shit is cool. Um, this this card is, is kind of talking to me about like taking time to like meditate and ground yourself and really tune into your intuition and to, you know, your, your, your soul, you know, what your soul wants, what your soul is being called to do. Um, we also have here new moon in Aquarius, bring love into this situation. Um, this card really speaks to me of like pragmatism, thinking outside the box, innovation. It's definitely a card of forward movement, like moving forward and not looking back with it being a new moon. Um, okay. I, I, I think your advice guys is that at this point in time, in order to find the answers that you're really looking for, you need to step back. You need to detach yourselves a bit from your current situation or your current circumstances. Um, if you are feeling regretful or remorseful or sad about what's going on in your life right now or or about, you know, this, this sense of like directionlessness that, that you may be experiencing, you've got to detach from that in order to look at this situation more objectively. Um, and then when you're able to do that and, and, and you can like really meditate and reflect on like, like what speaks to you? What are you passionate about? What makes you happy? What brings you joy? What brings you peace? And then thinking kind of outside the box about, you know, how you can maybe integrate those things into your life moving forward in a way that will be maybe more productive and in a way that w could maybe um, translate to like a career or a way to make money, you know, something, something like that. Um, you know, obviously, <laughs> obviously making money is not like the meaning of life. It, 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 that's, that's not like what we should all be, um, totally focused on in our lives. However, we kind of have to be given, you know, the world that we live in. Um, but <sighs> spirit is saying like moving forward, you, you don't have to resign yourself to being miserable. You don't have to resign yourself to, to doing something that doesn't bring you any joy or peace or happiness. You know, you don't have to resign yourself to just being bored and doing something that feels meaningless to you. Okay. Cause you know, this is a, a general reading, but I feel like for a lot of you, this kind of relates more to like the career situation, the education, the educational, um, situation, that sort of thing. 
And that is something that obviously a lot of people um, kind of stress about in their lives, especially younger people. You know, what am I going to do with my life? That sort of thing. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles being here, you know, this is stability and security. It also talks to me about prosperity and abundance. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is a very abundant, very successful figure. And, you know, she's solid. She's grounded. She's secure in herself and, you know, in her material resources. Um, especially if this is pertaining more to, you know, a, a career or something like that. This is a really good sign because this is saying, like, you're going to figure it out. You're going to find a way to do something that you care about and also you know be able to provide for yourself and take care of yourself um moving forward you know you may have to start kind of small you may have to do something totally like on your own you may have to start something on your own depending on what it is that you you find that you feel that, that you're feeling led to do um I think for some of you, you, you already kind of know what you want to do, but you're not sure how. Um, and for others of you, there is that feeling of like having no clue what's, what's going on or where you should go next. Um, but, but whatever, wh whichever one of those you are, wherever you are at personally, just know that you are not always going to feel this way. And Spirit is saying, all you have to do is ask for help and we will give you the answers. Um, Again, meditate on it. Really look inside of yourself and reflect on what it is that makes you feel fulfilled and what brings you peace and happiness. And, um, you know, spend, spend more time in nature if you can. Like, like sit on the ground. Let your skin touch the earth, touch the grass. Um, there's something very, you know, obviously grounding, and, but also very... Um, I feel like cleansing about that sort of thing and, and just spend time by yourself and to, to reflect on these things. Because like, even though things might feel like they're really not working out now, um, even though you might be feeling disappointed that something, you know, you thought you wanted or something you thought was going to be good for you didn't work out. It's all part of the plan. Okay. Serendipity here with this card it's kind of interesting because it's like well you know this maybe wasn't meant for you but there's something else that is and like this thing not working out just leaves room in your life for the thing that will work out the thing that you are meant for do you know what i'm saying um I'm feeling like also for some of you, this could even be pertaining to like a relationship situation, like a relationship that you thought was, was it for you, like a really, a person that you thought you were going to spend your life with, it didn't work out for whatever reason, and now you're just feeling really lost and confused, you know, I, I feel like this could relate to that sort of situation as well. So, um, again, just take it how it resonates with you. Um... But yeah, just give yourself time to think, give yourself time to reflect and give the universe some time to work things out in your favor. Because things are not going to all come together, you know, in a matter of days or even weeks or, or months. Sometimes it takes years for everything to fall into place just right. But when it finally does happen, like all of the time, all of the waiting, it, it's, it's worth it. Okay. Um, group three, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Those are really all the messages that I'm getting for you. I really hope this is helpful. I hope that this resonated with you. Um, all of my links are below in the description if you want to check them out. I do offer personal readings if that's something that you may be interested in. Um, if this reading resonated with you and you would like to explore this situation in more depth, um, let me know and we could do like a personal reading together about, well, I mean, we can, we can read about whatever you want to. Um, but yeah, 
I really appreciate, appreciate you guys joining me today. I hope I see you next time.